Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a good day. I'm so excited. I'm going to an 80s roller skating party for my friend Tara. She has one year sober today and I'm so proud of her. I remember her sitting on my couch exactly one year ago and she is in such a better place and I can't wait to celebrate her tonight. This video, I just want to kind of do a fun tutorial showing you me getting ready for this party. Yeah, so let's show you what's up. I just went to Value Village and the dollar store. I'm about to go on a run and then take a shower and then start getting ready. Tonight I'm gonna go for kind of like a side pony, really teased look. So I'm gonna be putting in some fake hair. These are clip-in extensions that I have. I have tons of brown extensions and blonde extensions all over my house. It's actually kind of ridiculous. So let's get started. Is I'm gonna do like a deep side part like this and I'm gonna have the extensions on this side and have this side like clip back and I'm gonna tease it a whole bunch. I'm gonna be using this nano titanium babyliss wand you got it dude like michelle tanner from full house you can get clip-in extensions at sally's that's the place i got mine from so what i'm gonna do is i'm just you know like i said my real hair is very short so i kind of want to get it out of the way so i'm taking this first section of my hair and i'm just gonna kind of twist it and then i'm gonna put a bobby pin in the bottom of my hair because I want all my hair going to this direction. I want all the hair laying on this side of my face. But the extensions are different widths. So for the first section at the bottom of my hair, I need the width of the extensions to be, you know, about yay wide. This is a perfect one for the bottom because it's got two little clips. So open these things like that. They snap shut and then open. So you're gonna have them open and then you're gonna put them in your hair and then close them. I'm not gonna worry about curling my hair down here because it's so short. It's just gonna kind of hide behind uh, the extension. So that'll be fine. And if it doesn't, I'll figure something out later. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping my hair around the wand. Now this next section, I'm gonna drop some of my real hair again maybe like another like two inches of hair. And then I'm gonna pin the rest of it back. I'm so excited, I feel like I'm going to prom or something. An 80s prom. So I'm gonna use the Biomega Freeze Baby Hairspray. Okay, so next I'm gonna put in a row of the yellowy extensions. So you just wanna make sure it matches where you wanna put it on your head. That one's a little wide. This one's probably perfect, it's another it's a three clip one. So putting the extensions in more to the left than to the right. I mean, I'm basically starting in the middle. I don't want extensions over here because all this hair is going to get pinned back. I'm going to do the first thing again that I did with the first set of extensions. Just notice I got my nails did. I'm so pumped. The other day my nail freaking broke off when I opened the box of candy. It's so irritating. Oh yeah, baby, this is gonna be good. I can already tell. Again, my real hair is dropped down, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time doing really perfect curls on my real hair because it's just gonna get covered with the extensions. The key when you're getting ready and you want things to look good, my best suggestion is like, don't rush. I never dress up. I have been depressed the past couple of years during Halloween, so. I haven't really gotten a chance to dress up, and so I am taking full advantage of this shit. I was born in 1986, I'm 32 years old, so I don't really remember the 80s, but it looked like a lot of fun. Again, I wanna focus the hair on the left side of my head. I'm not gonna put it back here, because I want everything to go this way. So again, you, drop it in and then snap it shut. So to tease it, you're just gonna grab a piece. And I mean, everyone does it a different way, but this is just the way I do it. I start up here and then just back comb. Just back comb, baby, back comb it. I've never done an 80s look for hair, 
So this is like all like totally unchartered territory for me. Oh my God, this is gonna be great. I can already tell. So now I'm going to drop some of the hair in the back and again like pin this. So this is all my hair back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray with some of the Freeze Baby hairspray. I'm gonna spray it in my roots. I'm going to take the tail comb and I'm just going to start teasing. So now I'm going to work on the side that I'm just going to pin back and out of the way. Kind of figure out where I want my part. I'm going to kind of part my hair like this. So I want this hair going back. I want this hair staying going over the side. I still want to add more extensions. But I want to get this side squared away and out of my way so I don't even have to deal with it. I need to add any extensions over here. Just kind of, I think I'm just going to wear it really slick and like bobby pin it behind my ear. I'm going to put the clips in between where the clips are on the hair, the, the row underneath. I'm going to kind of just dig my way in and comb. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, this is classic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding singles. So... Here is like a single clip. So I think I'm gonna add two of them just right here in the front. Goal is to look like Stephanie Tanner. I'm going to tease my roots. Maybe a little, just very gently. Add another single boy up here. This is amazing. I am feeling it. This is like my final look pretty much for my hair i love it now on to makeup so i pinned my hair out the way i'm actually gonna start with my eyeshadow first i think for events and things like this i really like to give the makeup my best i'm gonna first start off by spraying my face with the photo focus coconut three in one primer i don't have any pink eyeshadow but i am improvising and using blush so i'm gonna do kind of like blue orange pink and purple that's to go mm, that could work now I think I'm going to go in with orange, like in the corners right here. My girl Brie got me this Wet n Wild palette for my birthday. I'm loving it, so I'm definitely going to use that. Uh, I'm going to use this palette. I'm going to go in with this orange color right here. Get crazy. I think I'm going to put this blue color in like my crease. I'm not done with my eyeshadow at all, like not even close, but I got... A majority of it on now it's just gonna be like detail work and things like that and I want to put my foundation on first because I do want to do kind of like a per light purpley mask kind of thing over here and I'm then I'm gonna add sparkles and you know the whole deal of course I got my samps and then I'm gonna use my it cosmetics brush I'm gonna take my Tarte shape tape concealer in the shade light and i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do a little biking try see how i made like a crisp line with my concealer have that you know sharp look and now i'm gonna bake i'm gonna use the airspun powder you can get it at walmart use the real techniques brush apply it in like a triangle now i'm gonna use my favorite or mercier ritual blush it has been so gorgeous here in seattle it's so sunny today and i couldn't be happier i take a fluffy brush just kind of like that then i'm gonna I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. My favorite contour brush is this e.l.f. highlighting brush. It's my favorite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these two colors to start and then I'm gonna tap. And I'm gonna start up here a little bit above my ear. And I'm gonna dump a lot of the product here and then I'm gonna swipe. Dump and swipe, dump and swipe. Again, mix these two colors tap and then go right around my hairline. I'm gonna go on my jawline. 
and Carly and I were talking about how much doing our makeup helps our mental health. This is so relaxing for me. Now I'm gonna bake my face down here. So I'm just gonna take the Wet Beauty blender and I am going to make as straight of a line as I can. Next I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I again am using the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Use my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for my foundation. I cleaned it off so the tip is nice and smooth and without any product on it. And then I'm just gonna take this, take this brush so do you kind of see what I just did? I just took my brush and ran it along my eyebrow just to give it that sharp look. I'm gonna blend it in, but do you see this eye compared to this eye, how it just makes it look more crisp? So this is where we're at so far. I'm baking and working on my shadow, filled in my eyebrows. I kind of forgot about this. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. So I think I'm gonna go in and add some of these purple sparkles to my shadow. I'm just winging it. I don't have a plan. Do have some blue mascara, the voluminous L'Oreal shade Cobalt Blue, and I also have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, so I'm obviously gonna use those. I'm practicing, I'm getting better, but today I'm gonna give it my best shot. I hope I can get my wings even. Cross my fingers. And I'm also gonna be using, I, the, I picked these up at the dollar store, these Wet n Wild lashes. I mean, they're not the greatest quality, but I don't care. I'm gonna go in and give the winged liner my best shot. My tails, not bad. I got the fake lashes on, but they don't look great, and I don't know if they're gonna last, but whatevs. Now I'm gonna do shadow underneath my eyes, and I'm gonna do kind of like a purpley mask out here with like glitter on it because that's what I feel like doing. I think I'm gonna do the bright blue underneath my eyes, this one. I really like this Morphe purple rain color, but I discovered it's really cool for kind of like highlighter. Again, I'm gonna take the coconut and I have this Real Techniques brush. You can get these at Walmart and I'm gonna spray in on the purple rain. And then I'm just gonna this MAC glitter, it's so pretty. It doesn't have a color, but I'm just gonna go buck with the sparkles. I'm gonna just use a little brush and I'm just gonna dip it in and I'm gonna put some right here and all over right here. I'm just gonna go in with regular highlighter as well. Golden Flower Crown by Wet n Wild. So now I'm gonna go in with this blue mascara and do mascara here, here, and then on my lower lashes. And I'm gonna add some white eyeliner in here. So my phone did die, so I didn't get to finish my makeup with you guys, but I am wearing the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic in the color Moonless. As you can see, you can see my lips. Hit it with the nudes, girl, hit it with the nudes. And I did cut my neon sweatshirt and I got my fanny pack, I got my dollar store glasses, my scrunchie and my ring pop are in the other room and now I'm just waiting for my hubby to get home so he can get changed and see my outfit. We're on our way. This is what the hubby's wearing. <laughs> Excited for Tara's party.